Machine design files are now selectable on a document level, making it easier to visually check which MD file is loaded. From this dialog, you can quickly edit the setup location of your component, then you can easily change the MD file for the currently loaded post, for example, if working with a family of machine tools with the same controller. If an MD file is not available from the directory of the post processor, another is chosen from the examples directory based on the machine configuration of the post processor. Now in this particular example we have quite a large component and we only have one toolpath that we've created. Now, The first thing I want to do is verify this toolpath via a machine simulation. So I'm going to go ahead just load in the correct post and machine design file from my folder location. So here we have a, a generic Kermley C series post processor applicable for a Heidenhain 530 controller. I'm going to drag and drop that into the user interface. What you notice is we have two machine design files in this particular folder location. Straight away, now having the MD file selectable at a document level, I can instantly see that the C60 has been selected and this is the machine design file I wish to check the toolpath on. So I can go ahead and load in this particular machine design file. And what we can see straight away is we have a variety of warnings uh, indicating possible gouges on the part. The reason is the part is not set up correctly on the machine tool itself. Now what we can see going to our MD file at the document level our Z offset has defaulted to minus 125 millimeters. Now in this particular case if I take a view from the front we can see the distance we need to input is minus 420 millimeters. So rather than having to go into the setup, edit the setup and navigate to the last page we can now change this directly from the document level. Having done this I'm going to reload in my machine design file. We can see straight away the difference in the setup location and play through to verify the programming of that toolpath. Now in this particular case we're not getting any warnings regarding gouges or limits on the machine tool so everything looks okay. However, we've been told that the C60 has now become available for this particular job. Maybe it's experiencing downtime or has another job being processed. So what I like to do is just validate whether we can program this toolpath on the C42, a slightly smaller version of this machine tool. So I'm going to go back into my machine design file area directly from the document level. I can choose to always use a particular machine design file. The browse button will navigate to the currently loaded post processor, that same folder directory, and I can simply choose the Hermley C42 machine design file. And we can see how quickly and easily now we're now able to change machine design files. Now straight away there's a cause for concern as the clamps are slightly hanging over the edge of the machine table. Despite this I'm going to play through the simulation and what we can see on this particular machine we are exceeding the traverse paths of the axial limitation. If I continue to play through the simulation we're going to get repeated warnings that we are outside of the machine limits. So in this case I know I'm going to have to wait for availability on the C60 machine.